Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Sandy Foskett and I'm here to teach you makeup. Today's a really exciting video for me because I'm 18. Yes! Yeah, so I'm really excited because I'm going out to dinner with my fam bam. Uh, we're going to Lugano Seafood, which is a very, very nice seafood restaurant. And I'm going to get the seafood platter because... I love seafood. Okay, so today I'm going to be also continuing with my formal lookbook series because I am going to be wearing a formal dress to dinner and it's going to be the orange dress. I know that a few of you are probably like, orange, no one wears orange, but I personally really like orange and sometimes I wear it. And now, let's head straight into the video. I've already prepped and primed my face. Um, I've moisturized with Cetaphil and I've used the Rimmel Stay Matte primer um, as my base. Next I'm going to be heading into my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I'm using the color 2N1 and I'm just going to use a stippling brush to blend this in. Next, to set my face, I'm taking my Helena Rubinstein Pore Genius Compact. I'm going to take the lighter shade underneath my eyes and the darker shade kind of for the rest of my face. Next, I'm taking my BYS Blush Trio. And I'm just taking this outer color, which is a bit more orangey than the rest, and I'm just going to place that on the high planes of my cheeks. After that, I'm taking my Smashbox Contour Kit. I'm just going to take the bronzer from the middle and contour my cheeks, contour my forehead, and snatch that nose out. You know what I love? When you're contouring your cheekbones, and as you contour them, you can see yourself losing like, like kilograms. It's like one swipe, one kilogram, two swipes, two kilograms, three stripes, three kilograms, to the point where you're just like, I am a skeleton. I'm an emancipated skeleton, and I have great cheekbones. Next, I'm taking a bullet brush and my bronzer again, and I'm just gonna snatch that nose. His arms are heavy, knees weak, mom spaghetti. On the curved surface, he looks calm and ready, but he rolls down, he rolls, he rolls, he rolls so loud. He can't remember. <laughs> After you've got that fleeky nose, time to get some eyebrows on. I'm going to take my Anastasia Dip Brow and Dark Brown and just do my eyebrows off screen. If you want to see a video on how to I do my eyebrows, make sure to leave a comment down below. I don't know what thing is doing, he's kind of having a bit of a worm thing. But yeah, leave a comment down below, tell me what you think. Now I'm back with a pair of eyebrows. Do you remember ever tell you that story about you making a face and when the wind changes, your face stays like that? Yeah, I feel like I have that right now, like my eyebrow is just kind of permanently one raised and one down. And I think that's because I always do like this kind of what the heck you doing thing. Next, I'm taking my Maybelline Brow Drama Transparent Brow Gel and I'm just gonna run that through my eyebrows so my eyebrows last all night. All right, I'm gonna zoom you guys in now as we head into eyes. First up, I'm taking my Max Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the color Soft Ochre and just using this as a primer. Next, I'm taking Salted Caramel from the Chocolate Bar Palette and I'm gonna use this as my transition shade. So I'm just gonna set this into my crease and kind of blend it up towards the brow bone using really soft strokes. This will give us a nice fade. Next, I'm taking Semi Sweet from the Chocolate Bar Palette and I'm just gonna use this to deepen the crease. Next, I'm taking a denser blending brush. It's still fluffy, 
but not quite as fluffy as the other one. I'm gonna grab triple fudge to the chocolate bar palette and place this on the outer V. I'm just gonna bring triple fudge down onto my waterline and kind of smoke it out a bit. Whilst I was in Germany, I bought this palette. I have absolutely no idea where I bought it from, but it's the Ray D. Ray Day L Young Triple XL Rose Palette. I have no idea. I'm just gonna grab this very shimmery taupe color and I'm gonna place this all over my lid. Evidently, that shade had more fallout than a Fallout Boy concert. I'm gonna scratch that idea and go back to my chocolate bar palette. Instead, I'm gonna take Marzipan. This is kind of like a shimmery rose gold color and I'm gonna place that on the middle of the lid. And just to blend it all back in, I'm gonna grab Triple Fudge again and fix up that out of V. Look at it, it's so messy. Now we're done with the eyeshadow. I'm gonna grab my Manhattan Eye Amazing Eyeliner Felt Tip Pen in the color brown and I'm just gonna create a very uh, it's dramatic but it's still kind of reserved kind of wing. After that, I'm grabbing my Savvy by DB Liquid Eyeliner and I'm just going to go over the top and re-intensify that colour. We want to continue with that very smoky look, so I'm just going to take my Revlon Kajal stick in black and do my waterline. Then I'm just grabbing my Maybelline Colossal Mascara, not waterproof because I hate waterproof mascara, um, and just gonna apply a couple coats of that. After this, you wanna grab your false eyelashes. Today I'm gonna go in with a very natural pair. This is the natural pair from Stacey Pack from Kmart, and I'm just gonna give myself some falsies. And now I'm just gonna go finish off my other eye, and then I will be back. Okay, now that I've finished off my eyes, I'm going to go in with my highlighter. I'm using the Becca Moonstone highlighter today. That's the stuff. Oh, yeah. In my honest opinion, I could marry a highlighter. I think Harry's sad at me because I said that. But if Harry was a makeup fiend, I think he'd feel the same, you know? He'd understand what it feels like to be so in love. Woo! Girl, look at that nose! Oh, Jesus, hate Christ, I tell you. All right, I think that looks a little bit better, but I am like strobing. And then a little bit on the chin. Makeup brushes are good, but your fingers are your natural makeup brushes. Finally, I'm gonna do my lip. I'm taking my Rimmel Moisture Renew Invisible um, Lip Liner, and I'm just going to line my lip. Finally for my lips, I'm taking the L'Oreal Paris Color Rich Serum in Brilliant Orange and I am going to go all out. I am 18. I, I can I can wear bright lipstick if I want to. So this isn't my usual orange lipstick. I seem to have misplaced that. I'm just gonna take my lip pen and I'm gonna kind of define my lips a bit more because I think this makes me look like a bit of an old grandma. Despite this color not being exactly what I thought it would, I really like it. I think it looks very, I don't know, bright, but at the same time kind of classy. Finally, to lock it all in, I'm going to go with my Max Fix Plus because you know me, I'm just addicted to this stuff. It just sets everything and just it makes you look so glowy and just wonderful. Now that we're glistening like a freshly oiled seal, I'm gonna go put my dress on and I will let you know what I'm wearing! I'm being me! Harry, 
sorry, no. That's all guys, thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, then leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment below. Tell me what you think of this look. Also, tell me what color dress you want to see next. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see the rest of this formal lookbook series. I make new videos every week, so make sure you stay tuned. Bye!